Hey, everyone. Welcome back and happy Tuesday, which means happy Vanderpump Rules Day. Guys, there's a lot that's going to be happening today, which I'm super excited about. Even my phone is blowing up with this information. We have not only the new episode of Vanderpump Rules tonight, but also today we got the Vanderpump Rules Season 11 mid-season trailer, which I'm not going to lie, I have a lot of opinions about. I have a lot of things that I want to dissect here. So before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And uh, let's jump right in. All right, guys, so we just did, well, when I say we, I mean me, but um, just did Access Hollywood, which was so much fun with Lauren and Emily, and I had a blast with them. You guys are definitely going to have to listen to that podcast because we spilt a lot of the spilt, we spilled a lot of the Vanderpump Rules tea, so I'm going to let them have that. And we'll revisit that later. But as of right now, they actually mentioned in that that they have seen the season 11 midseason trailer. I hadn't seen it yet. I saw tonight's episode last night. Um, so that was kind of cool. But I didn't see the trailer. And then all of a sudden, lo and behold, when I get off of Access Hollywood, I end up going on my phone, Instagram. Boom, boom, boom. Here comes Bravo. And then there is the Vanderpump Rules season 11 midseason trailer. There is a lot. Lots to pick apart, lots to dissect. I think that we should go down the list of every single cast member because that's exactly what's going on. Now, when it comes to Katie Maloney and Tom Schwartz, you have Tom and Katie, and we're about to get, obviously, because we knew that at some point we were going to get, the situation that's going on between Sheena's nanny, which I don't think is actually her nanny, but one of her good friends who was her sister Courtney's good friend, still is, the girl with the pink hair is hooking up with Katie Maloney and also Tom Schwartz. Now you also see, because we're talking about individual storylines, Tom Schwartz is going to bat like a mother for Tom Sandoval. He's like, you know, I think he's a better person. I think he's a better guy. We're all friends with him again. We like him. And Ariana's like, you, dude. You. But also going over to Katie, Katie is saying may the best person win when it comes to pursuing the same girl. And then you have Tom Schwartz who's sitting there telling Joe, who was somebody who he was actually pursuing in some weird effed up way because she was never actually a roommate. She was only a bona fide friend with benefits who literally weaseled her way in there like a spineless jellyfish with a hidden agenda, like a snake. Wait a minute. I'm trying to understand all of this. So he's telling Joe about all of this, and then he goes up to Katie and says, I know we're divorcing, but what do you think about a one-night stand? And I was like, you know what, dude? You got boss. You didn't have them when you were married. Not to her, but all of a sudden you found them, and I'm not mad at you for it. Now, panning over, we're going to go into the Ariana Maddox and Dan of it all, but also Tom Sandoval, because there's a lot happening here. Um, wait a minute. So you have Tom Sandoval, who now all of a sudden feels like he can have conversations with Ariana Maddox. Ariana's like, you, dude, I'm not talking to you about shit. But she's also introducing her new man, Dan. Now, Dan obviously already knows everything about Tom Sandoval, because if you guys break it down and you think about everything that was happening during the scandal of it all, it was on every major media outlet. It was all over the internet. It was on page six. It was on CNN. It was on Hollywood Reporter, Access Hollywood, NBC, Bravo TV, and CNBC. Every, every fucking outlet. Scandal was on. So the guy knew, right? Well, Tom Sandoval feels like he should start being able to have conversations with Ariana, and she absolutely is refusing to film with him. Now, is that going to get old for the viewers? Yes, because the viewers have had time to digest this, and we've moved on. This happened March of last year, 2023. We're in March of 2024. That was a year ago, so we don't care, and we're watching it as if it happened 
right now in this very time, like we're watching some big brother shit and we get to, you know, like see it live. And that's not the case. So what we're seeing and we're getting so annoyed about is actually not something for us to even get annoyed about because it was still very fresh at the time. Back to it. Then you have Sheena who's sitting there talking to Brock and she's like, I don't know if we're going to be together for the rest of our lives. I don't think so. And I'm partially wondering if this is an edit, like an edited trailer where somebody is picking this apart and there is um, certain things that are being said, keywords within the sentence, the phrase of what she's saying, and they pieced it together to be this. Or if it's just taken way out of context, I couldn't imagine her saying that to Brock on TV. But then also, they all know they got to make a paycheck. Then you have James Kennedy, by the way, who now all of a sudden wants to have a family, even though he's not with Raquel. He's now with Ali Luber, which love Ali. And Ali's looking at him like, wait a minute. I got to be honest with you. I don't think that a family is something that I want right now. I don't know if that's my thing. And he looks completely disappointed. But then as you're sitting there like dissecting all of this and trying to figure out what the fuck is actually happening, you get the sit down. What happened in the sit-down? Oh, before the Jack sit-down, I'm going off the cuff, guys. Normally, I show photos. I'm organized. I'm sitting here just trying to—I'm spitballing because I saw this just now, and I'm trying to sit there and digest everything that I just witnessed. Lisa is sitting next to Ariana and the rest of the women, the girls, while Lala is saying, pick your sperm, talking about her sperm donor because she's about to take us on this journey, which we obviously know did exactly what she wanted to do because now she is pregnant and she's very happily pregnant. But also, I do have to give it to her in this sense. I'm happy that this wasn't just some bullshit storyline, that this was actually real, and that she is pregnant, and that this was a real, genuine, it gives you hope watching shows like this when you have somebody like Lala who's you know having these parties and they're like she's like, pick your sperm, and this is a journey that she's actually going on in her life. And she's sharing that on the TV show, but then you see right after that she is in fact pregnant, which makes you know that she wasn't concocting something in order to keep herself relevant. I have like a real appreciation for that and a lot of respect for it. But then what I was going to say is we have Jax Taylor who ends up coming on to the scene. And that's going to be not this week, but next week. So that's happening next week. You have Jax Taylor. And when he comes on to the scene, um, he's yelling at Tom which really doesn't make a whole lot of fucking sense when you think about it, why he would even be sitting there with Tom, except for the fact that Bravo and NBC and everybody knew. Um, again, bear with me. Everybody knew that they needed to segue into the valley. Hmm. Well, I feel good about it. I feel good. Me, my small violin, and the... You guys are going to think, like, what happened to him today? He lost his shit. I didn't lose my shit. Actually, um, I filmed this morning, and I only was able to do one video because I had to get my life together. My elbows are killing me, too, by the way. I've been, like, bleeding them to death. But I have to get my life together, and um, I haven't been able to, like, talk to a camera, and it's already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So that's all. I'm just trying to get it out. Smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you guys next time. I think, did I hit everything? Yeah. And also, make sure you go vote in the polls on the community tab. And listen to Access Hollywood anywhere you get your podcasts. Love you. Bye. Housewives Nightcap.